dear colleagues, my name is Vladimir Chigrinov. This is my pleasure to present uh, my uh, topic today is photoelement and photo patterning nano size as a dial airs new liquid crystal technology. I represent Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and Nanjing Jinso Optical Technology Institute in Nanjing, China. So here is a short bio of myself. I am SID fellow, have slot of Aki Prize and have many different awards. In particular, I have six books in liquid crystals and uh, sufficiently high Google Scholar and Web of Science Index. And I also have 38 United States patents and the last patent has been uh, given a last I have a lot of collaborators, not only in Hong Kong, in China, but other countries like Europe, Russia, uh, Sweden, Belarus, and, and so on, and the United States. So my today presentation will be uh, dealt with uh, new technology of nano-size azodial layers, which is photo alignment. I will also tell you about new LCD display technology and some new applications like e-paper, field sequential color displays. And I will also make a special attention for liquid crystal application in display electronics. So for photo alignment, we have published a book which is called Photo Alignment of Liquid Crystalline Materials. This book has been published in 2014 and now we are, we are trying to make a revision of this book. As for uh, nano size azo layers we have special molecules which are rod like which have absorbent oscillator parallel to the long molecular axis and which are rotating perpendicular to the polarization of the light because in this case there will be no absorbance of the molecule the details of the mechanism are described in a journal physical review in two there are also some azodi materials which can be used for super thin polarizers and this azodi materials has very high dichroic so here is a picture of nano size azodi layers thickness of azodi nano size layer between 1 and 10 nanometers and it looks like they will rotate the molecules will rotate to become perpendicular to the polarization of the light and one of the molecule of azodyne layer on the surface uh, will uh, change orientation of million of liquid molecules in the bulk. So here you will see the picture of atomic force microscope and you will see very uniform and high alignment. If you go to the uh, resolution, resolution is extremely high, which you can actually check by diffraction gratings. And we come to the conclusion that the resolution is better than 75 nanometers, which are on the level of optical uh, equipment in our lab. Also, azo dyes can be successfully used not only for glass, but also alignment on flexible substrates. And uh, all electro-optical characteristics are comparable with azo dye characteristics on glass substrates. Moreover, the Temperature dependence is not very high as usual for rubin, so we can use a lot of different plastic substrate for a liquid crystal alignment. If you like to stabilize liquid crystal alignment, you can put a liquid crystal monomer and then polymerize it, and azo dye cannot move inside the polymer net. You can polymerize it using photo initiator or third initiator. And uh, after, after stabilization, you will have high thermal stability, 24 hours at 100 degrees C, and high photo stability for UV light, 20, 12 hours at 100 centimeters square. So here is a comparison of the table and the, the number of ions on the surface on, on the bulk and current energy and image sticking parameters are comparable with usual Arabian technology or sometimes is better. 
Uh, also, we can uh, write a lot of different uh, sub, uh, a lot of diffraction gradients and photonics elements using photoaligned azodial layers. So, by making double exposure, if it's changing the polarization on 90 degree, you can write pattern of the alignment. Or if you expose and rotate the plates, you can uh, make so called Q plates, which we have published in 2011. These Q plates can be efficiently used for optical data. We can also get photo alignment in uh, microtubes and fibers where usual Arabian technology is not possible. And uh, we can uh, foresee many different optical elements in the fibers, like spectral filters, tunable wave plates, tunable gradients, polar emitters, and so on. So advantages of photoalignment technology, and in particular, azodai nanosize photoalignment technology, we eliminate static charges and, uh, and impurities. We have controllable parameters of liquid crystal alignment, like tilt angle, anchoring energy, thermal and ionic stability. And we can also foresee new applications where urban technology is not possible to use. For instance, liquid crystal efficient alignment on curved and flexible substrate, and also new liquid crystal photonics elements, like pattern polarizers and phase retarders, tunable optical filters, polarization, non-sensitive optical lenses, and so on. So, First, photo alignment has been uh, introduced uh, by Sharp, and they called these technologies UV2A. They made vertical alignment of liquid crystal using photo alignment. And you can see, because we avoid the defects and we avoid patterning of the electrodes, you can see from the picture that photo alignment, which is on the right side, is much better than usual technology for vertical aligned liquid crystals, which are used for TV applications. Also, you can have excellent quality uh, uh, of transmittance versus time using photo alignment technology instead of usual multi-domain alignment technology. So you can make different uh, different good things: high contrast ratio, high optical efficiency, fast response time, and. Uh, this can be done, has been done in 2008-9 in Kamiyama Sakai. So here is a picture of liquid crystal TV, which has been, uh, 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 which is sold in a Hong Kong uh, shop. And you can see excellent resolution, excellent quality, and excellent contrast ratio. Other applications of uh, Azodai for the alignment technology optical rewritable paper where actually you change alignment of azodai layer on the surface and then you change twist angle of liquid crystal in the bulk you actually put some image on the uh, on computer you transfer it to lcd module and then you shine at the light and make the image on liquid crystal layer we called it a new type of Xerox machine because Xerox can be done only once, but here you can done you can do image many times. Dependent on the location of the polarizers, you can have white images on the dark background or dark images on the white background. If you like to see a color image, you can use color polarizers or add fluorescent opens here. If you do not have polarizer, you don't see the image. So you can see, you can use it for security films. We have excellent grayscale for images, and uh, we have excellent resolution for images. And we can also make 3D images for left and right eye, different images. If we make uh, two uh, writing of the two images, and then put lens. Possible applications are price labels in supermarkets, display in plastic cards, and also some other applications. Display on plastic cards, on ATM cards, has been done in collaboration with the laboratory. And now we are working to make special price labels in supermarkets, which can be changed by a ref uh, on distance. 
also possible to make sign and advertising displays but if you use this e-paper outdoor you should have filter to cut sunlight if you compare a paper based on photo line as layers with the paper using for instance by, by company or top panel we can tell you that our e paper is cost effective because there is no tft driving electronics it is color triangle excellent much better than electronic ink five bits of gray levels are achieved high contrast ratio and very wide temperature range and also can be used in flex sub substrates if you compare the price of our uh, e, e paper optically writable e paper to the cheapest liquid crystal display because we have no current conducting layer and we have no drivers it is several times less in, in so we have very durable and flexible display lightweight high quality wide viewing angles and the zero power consumption now we are working on a color e paper and flexible e paper and hope we will show you our results soon another application and field sequential you are well aware that liquid crystal display is not green because we have problems polarizers and color filters absorb a lot of light so you have 100 percent of backlight and the input of only five percent backlight and only five output so you can put the light time sequentially your right your eye your eyes will integrate and you will see the so you can uh, for time sequential color you can use red green and blue light but liquid crystal should be fast enough and uh, sometimes uh, company Philips propose even not color triangle but color pentagon to have field sequential color picture so it should be very fast crystal materials which can enable to uh, to decrease power consumption about times and also to increase color trend tremendously actually we think that liquid crystal uh, uh, materials can be much faster if they use photo alignment if they use special ferroelectric liquid crystal phase it has been de discovered in 1975 by Robert Mayer and then Noel Clark and Sven Lagerwald propose uh, surface stabilized ferroelectric liquid crystal mode but later with my friend and colleague Martin Schatt who is a father of liquid crystal display Professor Pochdaev and Professor Srivastava we propose a lot of new electro-optical modes based on photo aligned layers so ferroelectric liquid crystal is much faster because this is linear electro-optical mode it can be very very fast and it can have extremely high contrast ratio and also the problem of mechanical stability is completely solved so here you will see the typical parameters of ferroelectric liquid crystal electro-optical modes which we call the electrically suppressed mode so for this mode we have extremely high contrast ratio we have also very good contrast ratio and uh, we have a shock-free displays so we have 130 percent of color triangle fast response time and the reflective field sequential display without uh, uh, without any problems we also have excellent angles of this display to make uh, gray levels we use pulse width modulation so we can make different and uh, because the thickness of liquid crystal is very small we have uh, no uh, influence we have no crosstalk between two neighbors so for reflective mode we have 15 microsecond uh, response time and of gray levels and excellent uh, uh, excellent uh, viewing independence so here is a, a display mode which we have a uh, colors and we use different liquid crystal ferroelectric liquid crystal mode like deformed helix electric effect and this mode can produce extremely fast response time 25 microseconds easy to get 
We also developed new thin film transistors, which we enable to operate with liquid crystal because current charging current should be much higher because of fast response time. We use IGZO or low polysilicon transistors. So finally, we get excellent field sequential color displays with high contrast ratio, fast response time, mechanically stable, excellent color track. So if you compare our photo line, the ferroelectric liquid crystal mode with other electro-optical mode, we can tell you that ferroelectric liquid crystal can get 120 microsecond response time for plus minus one volt per micro. It is also possible for other modes, but they use much higher voltage. So they cannot use, for instance, CMOS backplane because CMOS backplane with high resolution does not allow to use high voltages. We use CMOS backplanes for ferroelectric liquid crystal. So finally, we have high resolution, fast response time, excellent, excellent ferroelectric crystal displays, which can be used also for ferroelectric liquid crystal on silicon applications. We have uh, many, uh, many, many contacts with different uh, electronics companies like Jasper, AU, Baritronics, and not only in uh, Taiwan and China, but we have many uh, other companies in US, UK, and so on. We have uh, provided ferroelectric liquid crystal display on ELCOS for different applications, military, medical, AR, VR, entertainment, head-up displays, we have uh, presented our, our work in uh, 2018 SID conference in Los Angeles. So we have presented two types of display, which has excellent response time and uh, large size. And here is myself and here is my team. Here is my PhD students and here is Professor Abhishek Srivastava, who continues working in this direction in of science and technology. One of the good application of ferroelectric liquid crystal on silicon is augmented reality and virtual reality because you can have extremely high resolution, extremely high contrast and wide field of view. So the market is growing this application and many applications are foreseen like optical network switch, LIDARs, 3D printing, engineering inspection, 3D face recognition, 3D fingerprint, spectral imaging, medical, and so on. So the market in 2025 in China is estimated several billion US dollars, like market for light switch, LIDARs, laser processing, and so on. Also, photo aligned uh, liquid crystal used for uh, new uh, optical elements. For instance, if you put an azo dye and then you will put liquid crystal monomer, polymerize it, you can use face plates. You can have A plates, O plates, and C plates. And they, they, you, then you can use these plates for 3D displays. If you write down uh, harmonic scattering, then with proper thickness, harmonic, uh, harmonic diffraction grating, then you can set, you can have only two uh, uh, output light, left-handed circular and right-handed circular polarized light. If you put a uh, quarter wave plate plane, you can make 100% polarizer. So if uh, divergence of light is plus minus 15%, the polarization intensity will not be 50%, it will be about so you have two layers. One layer is uh, harmonic lattice of azo dye layer, and the other layer is wave plate. So you can considerably improve uh, efficiency of the light for polarizers. You can also use pattern super thin for the pattern polarizer for 3D displays. And our recent results showed that we can have extremely high contrast ratio and extremely high ratio. 
Another possibility, you know that quantum dots can be used for excellent colors of liquid crystal display. But if you put quantum dots to quantum rods, you will not only have excellent color, but you will also have very high efficiency because the illumination will be perpendicular to the movement of quantum dot rod. So by photo alignment, you can align quantum rods with quantum dots and have excellent quality of new displays. Not only good color, but high efficiency. You can also, we can also use it to make red and green light and uh, for uh, we have very effectively uh, align our quantum rods in quantum do quantum dots in quantum rods using in-gen printing technology so changing several parameters of liquid crystal we can have excellent of liquid crystal display we also can not only align but pattern quantum dots in quantum rods very high efficiency so we can have different types of displays here and uh, finally we can get excellent photo alignment technology very high de degree of polarization and uh, our quantum dots and quantum rods can be not only photo aligned but photo pattern uh, with a very high resolution about so we can considerably improve the efficiency and brightness of liquid crystal display tremendously and also we can use field sequential color uh, displays for photoline ferroelectric liquid also we can use ferroelectric uh, we, we can use photo alignment technology for security films so new security films can be not only can be seen only under uh, special polarizers and you when you observe only with polarizer change brightness with rotation of the polarizer and change the, of the rotation of the polarizer so here you will see the movie of optical security films so you don't see the picture without polarizer but you will see polarizer then you will see the picture and you can have extremely high resolution of these movies Next, I would like to tell you that you can have excellent, excellent smart windows. You know that smart windows, windows which can change their transparency if you apply electric field. They can change the transparency from opaque to transparent or from transparent to opaque. And usually people use polymer dispersed crystal films. If we compare our new uh, smart windows with polymer dispersed liquid crystal films we can see excellent viewing angles of our smart windows very small driving voltage and fast response for instance we can see that contrast ratio can be extremely high and we can change the transmittance from opaque to transparent we put our uh, scattering structure not in the bulk but on the surface of liquid crystal we can use different design in plane switching random alignment structure pb phase lens array and so on so this picture is much better because there is no degradation of liquid crystal and you will, you will have the same excellent smart window effect another application uh, of liquid crystal devices is liquid crystal photonics so you know that we should control the light and fibers so we should foresee different liquid crystal photonics elements which which can change usually micro electromechanical mirrors thermo optical optimechanical acoustic optical devices for this application so we can foresee switches filters attenuators equalizers polarization controllers and so on moreover we can use already used liquid crystal technology for its product so we are working together with liquid crystal uh, with companies and these companies propose new liquid crystal element liquid crystal waveguide interferometer beam steering tunable filters and tunable lasers using tunable liquid crystal materials this is real devices not just a dream and they have excellent excellent quality 
So if we compare, for instance, liquid crystal variable optical attenuator with other applications, fiber attenuator, MEMS, thermal optic effects, all the parameters in infrared are comparable. But one parameter, power consumption for one switch is much better for liquid crystal because there is no mechanical movement. There is just of the molecules. For instance, by changing the refractive index of the cladding, we can change the uh, we can change the intensity of the fiber. And uh, it changing uh, if you have Q plates, we can change also make Q plates for optical data processing, in particular for recognition. If we have digital mirror device. For instance, which has been done by Professor Wai Hu in Nanjing Laboratory. We can have high transmittance, broad wavelengths, flexible design, and excellent configurations. So we can write down many, many different optical pictures, not only on glass, on flexible, flexible substrates. We can also foresee beam steering elements if we can get special configuration of liquid crystal. And these beam steering elements can be also done using liquid water alignment. <coughs> so, for instance, if you like to change the uh, beam from zero to minus one to about four degrees, you can get very high diffraction efficiency to align liquid crystals. Another photonics applications is uh, uh, sensors. I think we can sense four Stokes parameters. So, so we can uh, we can uh, actually visualize so visible objects. For instance, bacteria in water. Suppose that bacteria has the same refractive index as water. You cannot see it, but if you make, if you see not only color and transmittance, but also intensity of light by pattern polarizer. For instance, here different Stokes parameters can be done is difference of the intensity of different sub pixels and you can do it in a large array putting on CMOS, CMOS image sensor you can get excellent micro polarizer array pattern so you can you can visualize invisible objects another possibility you can actually visualize electric field in liquid crystal layer or if you can transfer pressure or velocity to electric field, you can also visualize them. The idea is put to put fiber break grating in close in in close contact liquid crystal layer. We make this work together with U University of New South Wales. And, uh, <clears throat> we make polarizing non-agreed layer on the boundary between fiber uh, fiber with fiber. Uh, with uh, break grating and uh, liquid cell. So this already these uh, sensors already used to send the pressure in mining in Australia, and they can be <coughs> also used to to sense flow and pressure in pipelines. Another possibility to use the liquid crystal is liquid crystal lens. So lens should be compact, lightweight, low cost, and efficient, and it can be used for adaptive optics, optoelectronics, machine vision, 3D displays, eyeglass applications. But if you like to change the focal distance of the lens, if it is mechanical system, you must move the lens. But if you use photo alignment, you don't move anything. You just change the direction of the molecules between two layers, and then you can change the retardation and change retardation, you can change the focal distance of the lens. So changing the volts between zero and volts, you can completely change focal distance of the lens, not only for polarized light, but also for non-polarized light. So we get this change in focal distance from about 15 centimeters to infinity by changing by changing uh, voltage between 10 volts. You can also foresee new types of liquid crystal displays. If you make photo alignment and uh, you don't have the polarizers, you 
can make a lens because special structure of liquid crystal photolamine materials. You can have a lens and you, if you have a lens, you will have such image on the crystal display. If you have Fresnel lens and LED light, you can get window display. So if you drive the car, you can see some image on your, uh, on your. You can also simultaneously analyze a right and left handed circular polarized light using punch banaram barrel. So you can uh, simultaneously analyze these slides because uh, with punch banaram barrel lens for right handed circular polarized light, you will have convergent lens for left handed circular polarized light, you will have divergent lens. So you can use this technology for optical interconnects, spin photonics and and also we have been working with professor <coughs> in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Taiwan and she likes to make a special glasses for people who has different diopters for left and right eye. So using liquid crystal lens you can not only make a special amount of diopters for your eyes but you can also memorize it. So this of liquid crystal lens for different applications. You can also use waveguide couple micro ring add drop filters. So you have three wavelengths coming here and you can like to drop one. In this case, you must make resonance in this for waveguide. Finally, I would like to tell you that you can make reconfigurable antennas. So reconfigurable antennas can change frequency and can change of radiation. If you like to change frequency, you change impedance of antenna. So you put liquid crystal element here, materials which are sensitive on megahertz, gigahertz or terahertz region, apply electric field, change dielectric and isotropy. And so you change the frequency of antenna. So we have already made this experiment, change frequency in this region. And if you like to change direction of antenna, you can make matter surface with different antenna elements and change uh, phase difference between two neighbor antenna elements. In this case, you can change the direction of antenna. So you can have high transparency reduced by load reliable antennas and the reconfigurability can allow spice satellites to with anonymity. You must have special materials with high dielectric anisotropy so you can make antennas with this and these antennas are very promising and they can be transparent and then can be used for satellites and smart windows in summary i would like to tell you that liquid crystal devices for display and photonics are dominating in the market and will be the basic technology for advanced display and electronics in the nearest 10 years Photo alignment can be effectively used in liquid crystal alignment and patterning for new generation of devices with high resolution and optical quality of alignment, both in glass and plastic substrates, photonics devices, holes, and so on. And finally, I would like to tell you that new liquid crystal devices, including e-paper, field sequential color displays, photo pattern, quantum dots and quantum rods, Q-plate sensors, switchable lenses, smart windows, security films, and antennas. And at the end of my lecture, I would like to attract your attention to my book, which is called Liquid Crystal Photonics, which has been published by Nova Science Publishers in 2014. In this book, I highlighted not only different liquid crystal phenomena and uh, electro-optical modes, but I also highlight how liquid crystal now, this photo line, azo dye, and other photo line layers can be used not only for liquid crystal displays but also for photonic elements like switches, polarization rotators, variable optical attenuators, and lenses, sensors, and so on. So, finally, thank you very much for your kind attention. And if you have questions, uh, you are welcome to make this. Uh, I, I'm, I will be very happy to answer you if you use my email. Thank you very much.